Breathe in, breathe out as you listen. Really listen. Without counter arguments, listen to the longing of your heart and its divine urgency, pulling your soul to a new and different experience. To be able to listen more intently, make any micro adjustments that are necessary to let go, to unclench, to release resistance, to move from fidgeting to stillness. Let the breath support that intention by breathing in fully and exhaling slowly and completely. If you don't already know what your soul's desire is in this moment that has that urgency pulling you forward, attune yourself to your inner wisdom No longer looking outside for validation or permission. Breathe and listen as your heart informs, reminds, and inspires you into divine action. What if that desire, that pull that you've been trying to squelch or silence is in fact the answer to your healing desire your desire for well-being, prosperity, harmony. What if that gravitational pull towards something unexpected, to some grand opportunity or idea, what if you were to listen and then follow its heeding. What if you were to find greater courage, that voice of desire that disturbs and rattles you out of your comfort zone, but into something unexpected, life-enhancing? Be with that possibility now, as you relax some more, as you drop your attention more fully out of the head and intellectual grasping into your heart and let this move you in the direction of your dreams.
In the book of Job, in the Bible, there is a scripture that says, You will decide a matter, and it will be established for you, and light will shine on your ways. As you breathe in, as you breathe out, imagine your whole being and your environment filled with pearlized light, diffused light, flowing all around you permeating every internal part of your entire being. And let this diffused, pearlized light illuminate and bring into sharp relief the negative self-talk, the doubt, times when you seek permission or validation outside of yourself to move forward, the idea that it's too grand, it's too frivolous, it's too irresponsible, let that be revealed now in the space of stillness and let the light Transform and transmute this self-talk, these doubts and fears, into their spiritual equivalent. What if nothing is beyond your comprehension, your reach? your ability to attain. As we align with the universal vibration of light, we see the potential for this prosperity, well-being and fulfillment of those longings of our soul. We see all that wants to be birthed revealed, expressed, embraced and experienced in order to impress into existence delightful, bountiful aspirations. In this space of Paralyzed, diffused light and spiraling in this vibrational vortex of pure potential and pure possibility, we experience the irrepressible, effervescing, sparkling nature of spirit incubated in a space of stillness and silence. We align with every needed resource, joyful opportunity, expansive avenue that brings the fulfillment of our longings into existence with divine serendipity 
and of course, a bubble of ease. And now we begin our journey in consciousness back to this time and place. And that pearlized, diffused light, that certainty, that vibrational pull towards the fulfillment of the divine aspiration of our soul, bringing it with us into this time and place and the reality of this moment as we become aware once more of our position in the room the sounds around us the sense of centeredness and peace within us the freedom of giving ourselves permission to allow our dreams to be fulfilled the heartfelt compassion that comes with attentive awareness of our soul's calling at a time like this. We're aware of the temperature of the air, the clothing on our back, the breath flowing through us. And then bring your hands to prayer position with your thumbs resting on your sternum. And take a deep inhale. And a generous full exhale. From that place of pearlized, diffused light in me, where dreams are fulfilled and longings are answered to that place of diffused, pearlized light in you where dreams are fulfilled and longings are answered. I now bow. Namaste. Before I share our affirmation for the month of March, I'd like to also share a quote from this month's Science of Mind Reflection that says, My inheritance is unlimited good, and I am inspired to exemplify a joyful, rich, and playful existence, so I may better serve the world. This month's affirmative power statement is, I do not allow a single blessing imprinted with my name and provided by the eternal source to pass me by this day. And so it is. Amen. And our prosperity decree that we invite our Touching the Stillness community to affirm before they share a donation or a tithe, wherever they have been spiritually fed or have witnessed spiritual principle in action, this month's prosperity decree says, I am a powerful magnet for the complete and irrepressible expression of my abundant good. And so it is. Amen. <laughs> 